Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do this easy twisted chignon hairstyle. To start, I've popped a loose curl in the hair using my straighteners. This doesn't have to be perfect. Next, I'm going to take some volume powder and apply it all over the crown area of the hair. And then the next step is optional, but I've added a little bit of back combing to the crown area just to give the style a little bit more volume. If you don't like back combing, you can skip this step. So just flip those back comb sections over and smooth them with the very tips of your comb. You just want to really catch the top layers of hair so you can't see any of that back combing through it. Next, gather that section into your hands, so all the section that you backcombed, and we're going to bring this to the back of the head and secure it with a clear elastic band, making a little ponytail. Apply some texture spray to that ponytail. Again, I'll pop all my products in the description below. Then use your fingers to gently pinch and pull at the crown to create a little bit of messy volume. Now working on the right hand side, I'm going to leave some hair out to frame the face and take a section from the ear forwards and we're just going to split this in half to give us a top and bottom layer. I'm going to cross the bottom section over the top section and then I'm going to add a section from the hairline to the bottom section and again I'm going to cross it over the top. So add a section of hair to the bottom section bring it up and over the top section and twist it over and we're going to basically keep on doing this until we get to halfway around the back of the head but you need to make sure that you keep that top hand in the same position ideally about the same height as the elastic band from the ponytail Once you've got round to the middle of the back of the head, we're going to stop adding sections and just keep twisting those um, sections over one another until we get to the end of the hair, then secure it off with a clear elastic band. Next, we're going to repeat the same steps on the left hand side of the head. Now taking that ponytail from the star, I'm just going to add a little bit more volume powder all down the length and then I'm gently going to back brush to give it a little bit more volume. You don't have to go crazy with this. Then taking that ponytail, I'm going to wrap it around my fingers to create a large loop and I'm just going to push that to the nape of the neck and secure it on either side um, with a few bobby pins just to keep it nice and secure. Then I'm going to take hold of that right hand twist and I'm going to pull it up to the top of the bun and over to the left hand side of it and I'm going to slip a few bobby pins down the length of that twist to keep it to the head. And then anchor the twist on the top left hand side of that bun with another bobby pin. With the ends I'm just going to bring them around the middle of the bun and then just tuck the ends under that right hand twisted section so you can't see them. Next, taking the twist from the left hand side, again I'm going to bring it over the bun to the right hand side, securing down the middle of those twists with a few bobby pins to keep them nice and secure. And I'm going to lay this under the first twist from the right hand side. Once you've anchored it to the right hand side of the bun, you're going to take the tail ends back over to the left hand side, securing with pins as you go, and then we're just going to flip those ends underneath and secure them to the bun. And it really is that simple. Here's the finished look. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.